All right, today we're gonna to be doing a simulated power test on our Eaton 5PX 1500RT. Uh, essentially what that's gonna entail is cutting the power off to this room and seeing slash observing what's gonna happen. So this video was requested, uh, kind of like a follow-up, and we're gonna take care of that today. Okay, so a little explanation of what we got set up here. So this server, uh, this is Transcensia, this is the Unraid server, uh, the ultimate Unraid do everything server as you guys may know it or have seen online. It is connected to the Eaton 5PX 1500RT, and so is this lamp that is uh, conveniently placed over there on the right. Um, so ideally, I won't be here to witness it, but I think what's going to happen when we cut power down at the electrical box, uh, hopefully this lamp doesn't flash off. If it does, uh, not really a big deal, hopefully, because the power supply that's in this should be able to handle that power fluctuation. and. Um, this should not turn off at all. So there has been uh, some problems in the past with UPS's upside uh, turning off um, temporarily or damaging equipment when the power transitions over. That should not happen with this. I already know it doesn't because I've had several power out outages before, but that doesn't matter. We're going to do it today. This is the Cyber Power OR700. I don't even remember the model number for this. Uh, this controls all the networking equipment which is barely on camera. There you go. Uh, so all the network equipment is attached to that cyber power UPS. None of this will lose power at all. These servers aren't powered on. One of them is connected to this, or to the Eaton UPS, and the other one is not. Uh, but these currently aren't in operation. And finally, at the very top here, I know it's a little hard to tell, this monitor is not connected to the UPS either. And also none of the lights in the room are connected to the UPS. So when we flip the switch, a lot of things should power off with exception to that lamp and also of the server. All right, so I'm headed downstairs right now as we speak. My camera is recording and I am going to turn or cut power to that room any moment now. Uh, it looks like everything's still on. The monitor is off. All of the UPS uh, say they are on. Uh, so let's take a little bit of a closer look. All right, we're just gonna take a little bit of a closer look here. Uh, as you can see, we're getting zero input from the wall, zero volts. And we're currently outputting 182 volts of power from the ups uh, to the system. We have 93% battery left, approximately 45 minutes of runtime. The battery is a little bit louder now because uh, it is operating on battery power as indicated by this light here. And we have about 183 watts of average power usage currently. And we'll just take a quick look at our second UPS here. Sorry for shaky cam, I had to take it off. Uh, so we're outputting 120 volts. We're on battery power. We have approximately 60 minutes of runtime. And that's really about all we care about, to be honest. Um, so here's some more data for those that care uh, cumulative power usage we have a total of 1300 kilowatts over the last 243 days so i've almost had this thing for a full year it's pretty cool to see the total power used from this ups over the course of that time okay so that was a bit of a fun experiment to do uh, it was very short and simple uh, but as requested I hope this was everything you wanted to see, and if you have any other questions about this specific ups in the future, please let me know and I will try my best to answer them. And with that, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.